back to steam flow the channel dedicated to all things steam today i'm going to show you how you can take your games from looking like this to looking a bit more like this Now there is a new mod on the horizon and it's called the Let Me Reshade. It's been designed by a person called it's Owen and he's just recently re released this in beta. So this works similar to the FG mod and it enables you to reshade your games any particular way you want. And in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly install it and I'm going to share uh, my experience with it and showcase some games. Now reshading is a, pretty much a post-processing injector for games and applications that enhances graphics by adding effects like sharpening, color correction, ambient occlusion, depth of field, and pretty much a lot of things that you can think. Um, sometimes it can just be down to style and different aesthetics. Other times it can improve contrast and it can improve uh, some of the graphic settings beyond what the game offers. It does come at a cost. Sometimes it will bring down the FPS. It really is down to the reshade that you use. And this mod enables you to test a bunch of different reshades and makes the whole process very easy. You usually have to download different files and mess with the files of a specific game, but this will let you do it with the push of a button. So what you want to do first is go to desktop mode, Open your favorite browser and first of all, download Deki Loader if you've not downloaded that before. Now, Deki Loader is a piece of software that allows you to download different plugins for your Steam Deck. And this is one of those plugins. So if you go here to the download page, you can just scroll down, click on download and that will download the Deki Installer. You can take that from your downloads folder, copy it and place it on your desktop. Now, I already have that installed, but if you double click it, it will ask you if you want to continue. You have to enter your password if you have set one up, and this will uh, allow you to install Deki Loader. Now, once you've done that, there is another page that you need to visit. I will put a link into the description. Uh, and this page is for the Let Me Reshade plugin. So if you go here, you can go to releases, and the latest release was from one hour ago version 0.3 what we have to do is download this zip and it will save it again in your downloads folder now once you're in your downloads folder you can just find this zip double click on it and click extract and click extract again and this will basically create a new folder in your downloads where it's mod this plugin is situated from here you can just click ctrl c or right click and select copy now all you have to do is go to home, DAC, homebrew, and the plugins folder. This is where you have to paste it. Now, before you paste it, you do need to go into the properties of this folder and enable the permissions so that you are able to do changes to this folder. By default, you can only view content, but if you right click and go to permissions, you can select can view and modify content and then you can also click only owner can rename and delete folder content. Click on OK and then close it. Completely close Dolphin. So the, the file explorer in Steam Deck is called Dolphin. So just close every instance of Dolphin. Then reopen it and go back to that. Homebrew plugins. And this will now allow you to paste the folder. Now all you have to do from here, you just go back to gaming mode. And once you are in gaming mode, you can click the three dots, scroll down and find the Let Me Reshade plugin right here. Now by default, you're gonna see a button here that says Install Reshade. Now if I uninstall it, it will say uninstalled and then I will have the option to install it. So just click Install. That should install. It might take a little bit of time to do that and it will successfully say Reshade installed successfully. So after this installed, you can select a game to patch and uh, I have previously selected Hogwarts Legacy. All you gotta do is just select the game and click on Install Reshade and it will say Reshade installed successfully for Hogwarts Legacy using DXGI API. Press Home key in game to open Reshade overlay. So let's just do that. Before you do that, we have to assign one of the Steam Deck buttons to the uh, Home button. The Home button is usually on the keyboard on your Windows PC. If you go here to the controller, you can enable back grip buttons and then you can select one of the back buttons from this in this case i have done this for r4 and r4 is set up as home 
then all you have to do is launch the game and then once you're in game you can press that button that you just set up and this will bring the reshade menu so these are different plugins different mods different reshade mods that you can experiment with there are a ton of different ones and i'm just gonna go through a few of them to close this menu just press the back button again let's get in game first and i can showcase some of these now as i said reshading most of the time it's really down to preference and if you're trying to stylize your game in in different ways um it's not always it's not a one solution for everybody but it can be something that you uh personally want to change it can also help with sharpening and and increasing the the visual fidelity of a game in a certain way or it can help if you are color blind or if you are susceptible to certain colors you can change a lot of stuff there's also an option to mimic hdr or to try and bring out the lcd index colors to look a little bit more like oled you can do all of that so currently i have enabled some uh, shaders i have enabled the blooming hdr and curves and if i disable those uh, this is pretty much the default look of the game now hogwarts legacy specifically it's a little bit of a dull looking game um i think it it was designed to be in this way now this particular scene doesn't doesn't really do the game justice. It, I think in this particular scene, it's a little bit more do, do than usually. But we press that button, brings out the menu, and then we can do a ton of different things. Uh, it will also give you a little bit of a tooltip of what things are. So it's not gonna it's not gonna give you a tooltip for everyone, but you can just click it and see what it does. So this one, it's has something to do with depth of field, so it blurs not really working good in this case we can mimic a crt screen again that doesn't really work good in this case the thing is the shader is applied to the whole screen so that includes text ui elements and everything like that so you have to be really careful with what you do uh, as it might mess up your game but the good thing is that you can just click it and unclick it and it will immediately change it you can set up a border uh, if you want it to be more cinematic and you can uh, adjust the border but keep in mind that this pretty much just takes away from your screen space uh, so some of the good ones blooming hdr this immediately tries to mimic hdr mess around with the options here so this was one that i put the other one curves so with curves you can really a lot uh, you can really adjust the saturation and the contrast of your game and you can adjust the intensity of this for example increase and decrease the sensitivity of this i can speci specifically work with chroma and luma and it's really again down to personal preference uh, i'm not gonna pretend i know a lot about the reshading i have messed with it in the past but uh, as i said this is really easy to just click and and uh, try and customize it uh, in any way you want we can also do an fxaa and this is more to do with uh, sharpening than anything uh, we can try to do a fake hdr so for example this one i think it it takes it a little bit further than i would like it makes it just a little bit darker uh, and the thing is some scenes like this it will look great but for some other darker scenes it might not look as good uh, but uh, again you can just click it go to it and quickly fix that now there's a bunch of different settings here that I have not messed with. I haven't really found the need to do that. I've just been doing and activating different reshaders. And I have activated three reshades now. And there doesn't seem to be uh, much difference to performance. Specifically for these three, I'm still at 52, 53 FPS. And uh, that's pretty much it. I do want to thank the developer, it's Owen, for his work. It's really amazing and it's uh, mods and plugins like this that make the Steam Deck community one of the best gaming communities out there. Um, the Steam Deck for me is really about tinkering and making it your own. And this takes it uh, one step further and enables you to do that with a lot of these games. So um, before I go, I want to talk about some of the issues that you might encounter with this. Now, because this add-on shares a base code with the frame gen add-on, uh, once you put the folder and, and once you put the folder in the plugins and you go back here, it might already say that it's installed. And if you select a game and try to patch one of these games, it might give you an error. So in order to, to remedy that, you can just click on the uninstall 
um, restart the deck or restart the uh, deck loader, then install it again, and you should be good to go. One other thing is that um, once you activate this, it will pretty much set a custom uh, launch command here, launch option in the uh, Steam launch options. And if you're using this in conjunction with the frame generation mode, it will actually remove the frame generation mode command. Obviously, you're not able to use both the frame generation mode and the reshade mode because it just replaces the command here. So um, you can either have uh, one of the commands or the other command. Unfortunately, you can't have both, uh, but it doesn't seem to, to work. I'm not really uh, sure how these commands work, uh, but they have provided feedback to the author of the mod and he will try and find a workaround so that you can use both. But right now you have to use uh, either one or the other. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, if you've always wanted to, to test some reshades on your Steam Deck games, this will allow you to do that very, very easily. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.